What is up guys, in this video I'm gonna show a trick that I use to add spice and texture to my tracks and make them at least 5% more interesting. Let me show you how you can do it. Okay, so I have this basic drum loop that we can use in this tutorial. So it sounds like this. And the tip that I'm gonna show you is that you can layer this loop with some texture. It can be the famous crackling noise, cassette noise, vinyl crackling, but also like field recordings. Like when you're walking in the street or in nature, adding those audio files in the background of your track can really add some awesome textures. And I'm gonna show you how you can do it. So if we take the first one, it's the crackling noise. It sounds like this. And it's pretty good at emulating that warm vinyl feeling from a vinyl record. And I just like to have this playing in the background together with my drums and other elements. So take a listen. So right now it's a little bit too dominant in the mix. So we're gonna send this to a mix track and then we're gonna turn down the volume. Think around here so it's just gonna be like noticeable but it's not gonna overpower the drums and the other elements in your track and what i tend to do is to pull up an eq and remove any unwanted frequencies there's not a lot a lot but there can be some low-end rumbling if you're using for example field recordings there could be some unwanted noise and just remove it because it's gonna mess with the kick drum and the bass and other important parts but we can layer it with other noises as well. So I'm just gonna grab a field recording that I did when I was in Copenhagen. So we're just gonna browse through a sample pack that I have here. Yeah, I think this one, I think it's like on a shopping street um, that where I just recorded some people walking by and it sounds like this. So what you can do with this is that instead of just having it to playing in the background, Obviously it's way too loud, so we're gonna send it to mix the track and then lowering the volume. But what I like to do is to pull up a plugin that can do some auto panning. I like to use the shaper box, selecting the panning module. And in shaper box, there is some really cool presets under the rhythmic se section, and I like this one. So it's basically going from left to right, but in like a really cool pattern. And then you can just adjust it with the mix knob and you can choose to have it in sync mode or you can use it have to have it like uh, to run freely. So it's totally up to you. I like to have it to run freely because it gives like more random results. So if we listen to the field recording on zone, it sounds like this. So if you're on headphones or good speakers, you can really hear like that's it's traveling from left to right. And I think it's a little bit too much. So I'm just gonna pull down the mix now. And I think it's a great way to add some interesting stuff to these field recordings. And the other thing that I want to add is some side chaining, some volume docking. I just have it at around here. So the reason why I like to use a side chain on field recordings is that this docking effect is like pumping along with the groove of the track and of the drums as well. So let's have a listen to it. the volume because the sample is way too loud. There's going to be something in the background. Awesome. And then we're going to do the same thing as we did with the crackling noise to add a filter and just move the low end. And there's actually a really annoying resonant stuff in the recording here. We're just going to decrease. Awesome. We can also try to find another field recording, but I don't want to use it like throughout the whole beat. I'm just going to use it at some certain areas in the drum beat. Could be this one. And then I'm just going to chop it here. So just the beginning. And then I think I'm going to have it like on every downbeat here. So I have something like this.
It's a really cool effect. I'm just going to route it to a mixer track. Move the volume. And I think for the sake of it, I'm just going to pull out one of my favorite plugins, the Guitar E6, and just add some crazy effects on it. I'm working on a preset pack for Guitar E6 with a lot of awesome presets for electronic music, but also other genres. This one is really cool. It's like really lo-fi, crunchy verb. Okay, there is like a small click here, but we can just remove it. If you're on the new version of FL Studio, you can just pull these faders here. So fade out the sample. So you get like a more clean result. I think this is really dope. And the last thing is again, check with an EQ because we don't want any low end rumbling. Perfect. Okay, let's try to listen to this with all of the field recordings and the crackling noise and then without so you can hear the difference that they add to this drum loop. So this is of course with. Without. So as you might hear, adding these field recordings and crackling noise really add character to this drum loop. And these drums just sound more organic in my opinion. Pretty cool. Okay guys, that's it for this video. I hope it encouraged you to play around with field recordings and all of these other texture sounds that you can layer underneath your tracks. I use field recordings all the time in my production because it just adds so much character and vibe. If you're looking for some awesome field recordings, you can go browse some of the packs that I have on my webshop. The link is in the description down below. As always, if you liked the video, it means so much to me if you smash that like button or even subscribe to the channel. So I hope to see you in the next video. Take care. Peace.